Hi friends, welcome back to Church at Home. I'm so glad that you're here with us today. Friends, today at Church at Home, we are talking all about a word called apathy. In today's Church at Home video, I challenge you to count the number of times that we say the words apathy and worship because we are gonna talk all about what it means to worship God, including a special guest. I'm so excited. Are you so excited? Yeah. Good. Let's go see what Miss Megan and I get into today. Hi friends, Hi. welcome back to our game. We're so excited that you're here with us today. So last week, our winner, without a doubt, was, drum roll please, Miss Megan! So, Miss Megan is the winner for last week, so you know what to do this week. You're gonna have to vote on our game video and let us know who you think wins. Today, we are going to do nursery rhyme rap battle. What, what? That's why we look so cool today, you guys. So lit. That's the only reason. So, so the way that this is going to go today is each of us are going to take two nursery rhymes and we are going to make a rap out of them. Oh. But then you guys are going to vote for who you want to win by doing the same thing in the comments and on Instagram. We are going to see who will win this week's challenge. Oh yeah, let's do it. The wheels on the bus go round and round and round, round and round and round, all through the town! Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off, and he bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Tell us yeah. who won 
that rap battle because obviously we're both gonna vote for ourselves obviously i did so good i think i did pretty good too degree degree dot oh i have no comeback to that We did it, guys, and it was really fun for us. No matter who wins or loses, it was really fun to be a little silly. So make sure you vote for us because we actually do care a little bit about who wins. Just a little bit. (laughs) See you guys next time. Peace. In my doubt, God give me faith. In my worry, I'll seek your face. Let your perfect love make my path straight. In my life, God, lead the way. I want to run with you for all my life. I want to know your truth. lacking enthusiasm. Do you know what that is? You know when you get really, really excited about something and you love it so much that you're just like excited and there for it? Well, that's not apathy. That's enthusiasm. See, apathy is when you really aren't excited about anything. Apathy is when you're just kind of meh. Like, have you ever watched the Emoji movie? You know how the character meh, his parents, they were just fine being meh, but he wanted to find something different? Well, that's what we are searching for today. We are searching to be a little bit more than just meh. Hi, friends. 
Today we're going to talk about something that is so important to me. We're going to talk about worship. Do you guys know what worship is? That's right. It's a chance that we get to honor God and to tell God how much we love Him. You know, ever since I was your age, I've loved music. So I learned lots of different instruments. Uh, even this is called a banjo. Have you guys ever heard of banjo? Or my favorite, when I'm spending some alone time with God, I love to just play guitar. Uh, a lot of the worship songs that you hear, they're on guitar. But did you know that worship is more than just music? David, who was a major figure in the Old Testament, he killed Goliath, he was a king, but also David lived a life that was all about worship. He wrote books in the Old Testament and he wrote songs that are in the Psalms and here's one of them. Psalm 150, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in his mighty heaven, praise him for his mighty works, praise him for his unequaled greatness. And then it goes on and it lists nine different things. Praise him with a blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and the harp, which is like a guitar. It says to praise him with the tambourine and with dancing, and to praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with a clash of cymbals. Do you guys know what cymbals are? They're two big giant pieces of metal that you hit together. It makes a really loud, fun noise. It says, let everything that has breath sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. So worship is very important. You guys know those songs that we just sang? Those were songs of worship talking about how great God is. And there's a story about David in the Old Testament I wanted to share out of the book of Samuel. So part of the Old Testament is they built this thing called the Ark of the Covenant, which is where God came to meet with his people. And it had been lost for a while. But God brought it back to the people of Israel. And as David brought it into the city, he did something no one expected of him. He danced like a madman in front of the Ark of the Covenant. Like crazy. Show me your best moves. Okay, I see some I see from TikTok. Just go a little crazier. Go a little crazier. Go wild and spin in circles. That's how David danced because he was so excited about what God was doing. And he didn't let anything stop him from worshiping God. But there were some times where David was struggling with apathy. I know Miss Melissa told you a little earlier today that apathy is when you're just kind of feeling meh and you don't really feel like doing anything. There were some times where David really didn't feel like worshiping God. Things were hard for him sometimes, but still, David wrote songs about how things were hard for him, and he was honest with God even in those moments. Do you guys love music like I do? You guys like listening to music, maybe playing some music on a flute or another instrument? Maybe you don't really like music. Maybe you like to dance. Do you guys like to dance and kind of go crazy? And yeah, I like dancing too but I'm not as good as, as I am music. And worship is a great way for us to honor God and connect with God. So as we go into this next song, I ask that you sing the words as loud as you can, and also get up, dance around, and show God how excited you are that he loves you so much. So even if you are feeling that a little apathy or apathetic this morning, during this next song, I think it'd be very important for you to sing to God or sit there and just pray and let God know how you are feeling so that you can still connect with him and feel his love.
When there's an ocean of doubt in front of me And my back's up against the wall I know it's an opportunity For my God to show his heart And it may look impossible in the natural life that's distracting you from God? Maybe it's apathy. Maybe you just feel kind of meh. How in the world am I supposed to worship God? And that's okay. That's something that we can learn together. I hope that you learned something new today, friends, and I hope that you have a great week. Bye!